Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Dave with Spider Monkey 2A. Today we got a real treat for you. We're going to teach you how to take just your ordinary old plain stock and replace it with a custom wooden stock on your maybe everyday rifle, hunting rifle, but basically the definition of polishing a turd. Stick with us. All right, so the rifle I have here is my good old Mossberg 100 ATR. Now, I haven't used this in years. It's just been sitting in the back of my gun safe. <sighs> Frankly, I've just always hated the way it looked. We tried putting camo tape on it. Even that, just I didn't find it very appealing. And when I opened up my gun safe the other day, I thought, man, that's making everything look ugly. You ever get that? Oh, I sure do. So what I did was on the tip of my brother a couple years ago, I did this with a Savage 6.5 Creedmoor that I have. I went to Boyd's Gunstocks, and I found that they actually still made the stocks for these Mossberg 100 ATRs. Now, these have been gone for years. They stopped making these. I think they replaced these with the Patriot series. So I went on Boyd's. I found what I wanted. You can make it a custom color. You can get different styles of actual stocks. I got this one with the thumb grip or the thumb hole grip. So it's basically like holding, you get a better purchase on it. So we're going to show you how to disassemble from your synthetic stock and place it into the custom wooden stock. Now the tools that you're going to need for this process is pretty darn simple. A 5 30 seconds Allen wrench and that's it. On the bottom, bear with me, I'm doing this all on my phone, I don't have zoom on this. So on the bottom of your rifle, you have two screws. You got one there and then one by the trigger guard. You're just going to take those out and always safety check, gun is unloaded. Okay. So you take your screws out here and depending on how old and beat up the screws are, you may want to order replacements. I did that on the Mossberg website. Came within a few days. And if you don't need them, maybe it's nice to have a couple extras. So screws out there. One actually is longer than the other. The one by the trigger guard is longer. Have to take that into consideration with ordering. I learned that one. Now, supporting the bottom of your rifle, pull out the top. Now, with a gun with an internal magazine, you have to be careful of that spring that's going to pop right out. So take it out slowly. And there you go. That's it. Disassembled. We'll set that down right here. And this is the spring that I was talking about that comes out with your internal magazine. Be very careful with that. Then you want to take the time to clean up any internals. Like I said, this gun has been sitting there for years. Is a little bit dirty we'll clean that up i'm not going to make you sit through that process though we'll clean that up and then we'll show you how to install it in the new stock all right so we got our new stock and what you want to make sure of is uh that all the holes are where they need to be um, sometimes these stocks come where they don't punch the wood finish completely out so don't panic on that that happened with my uh savage so Make sure everything is all cleaned out. There's no chunks of wood chips, things that might get stuck on the inside. They do a phenomenal job with their machining. Um, when I ordered this stock, I think I ordered it on Saturday or Sunday. Today's Friday. It just came today. So not a long process. They make these as they go. They don't have them all in stock. Like I said, you can pick out the color you want. I think this was a pepperish color. And you want to take into consideration what it's going to look like with your barrel. Um, okay, so the reinstallation, re we're going to take our complete barrel system here. And if you want, you can take your scope off in this process. I probably should have, so I haven't shot this in years, so it's going to have to be recited in anyways. You want to take your internal magazine spring and guide there, place that back in. You have to be careful when pushing that down. You don't want to bend it, crimp it. We are going to take and line up with our stock here. 
Might be smart if I use my bench here. That's kind of what it's for. Place the barrel on the top. Make sure we are lining up as we go. Trigger goes down through the hole. Okay. Now, from here, we are going to take and put in our screws that go straight into the bottom of the barrel. We'll start with our top one. Make sure it's lined up. And just get it started. And we'll take our bottom one. Now, also, got to reiterate, you, uh, with Boyd's, with a synthetic stock like that, it already had a trigger guard built in. When you order one like this, a lot of times they don't have trigger guards made. That'd be a heck of a process. But they do tell you that on Boyd's, which is very nice. They tell you all the parts that you're going to need with. So you actually have to order this extra trigger guard that they have on Boyd's as well. I did need to do a little tweaking with this. I did need to dremel out the top screw so that the second screw that goes into the barrel to connect them uh, was long enough. Otherwise, it was just going to be too short. So that's something to take into consideration. So that is why I am actually putting the second screw in first before I put the trigger guard on. We'll also show you that process. Okay, get that second screw in there. You want to apply a little bit of pressure on the top of your rifle so that you can get that screw started. And then we'll go back up to the top one, get that tightened down a little bit more, and back down to the bottom. Finish that up. And if you do order new screws, they do come with a little bit of red Loctite on them, which is a good thing to have. I wouldn't crazy crimp this down. Maybe just finger tight. Just finger tight. All right, there we go. That's installed. And you want to check. Make sure your magazine system is good. Remember, we got that internal magazine there. Want to make sure that's not springing too far up or it's not cockeyed. It's good. One thing the Boyds do not come with, though, is a red dot on there to show if you are on safe or fire. That may be something you want to take into consideration when you install this, maybe put a little Dremel there or something, a little drill, and then put a little bit of maybe a red marker, red paint. That's up to you, how comfortable you are with your rifle. It's always good to know when your gun's on safe and when it's on fire. So I know my gun is on safe. Check to make sure the safety's working. Select it on fire. Make sure you get that good click. And that everything floats smoothly. Safety back on. All right, now we're gonna show you how to install the trigger guard. Fits right in there. And it does come with a screw when you order it from Boyd's. Get that started in there. And screw that on. This is a tight process. So we're gonna get that screwed in and we'll show you the finished product. All right, so we got that everything tightened down where it needs to be. Make sure it doesn't wobble. And again, you want to test, make sure that'll fire so that your trigger's not resting too far back. And that would be the worst if you got all this done. You went to go shoot it, and you're unable to pull the trigger back. So we test that. Awesome. Perfect. All right, there you have it, everybody. A real simple process. And frankly, I am just tickled. Um, I forgot to mention that Boyd's does also put in your two holders here if you want to put a sling on there. I did have a sling on my other one. I will definitely probably install that on this. It's kind of a heavier-ish gun. So there you have it. Polishing an absolute turd. That Mossberg 100 ATR, like I said, I forgot I even had it in there. It was sitting in the back looking ugly. Now it's just absolutely beautiful. I love this color with the barrel. It's like I have a whole new gun. Uh, this was the for the 30-06. I hate the kick on the shoulder, 
but I absolutely love the rifle. And I really am digging this thumb hole here, get a better purchase on it when I go to shoot it. So that's it, everybody. Real simple process. I hope we all learned something today. Um, I have done this before, but it was a gun with an external magazine, so that's a different process. Not by much, though. All right. Again, everybody, this is Spider Monkey 2A. My name's Dave. Uh, maybe consider giving me a like, possibly subscribe, maybe even share. If not, thanks for stopping by.